Hey guys, what's up? Maverick here with another video and this will have to be a quick one. I've got a full day ahead of me, very busy. I'm actually getting ready to head out to shoot right now, but I have to make this video. It's a sort of a first look of what I recently bought. Nothing special as you will see in a moment, but uh, just apologies beforehand because I'm using natural light. I mean, there's a bit of noise outside. And I'm trying out the face tracking on the Nikon D750. Um, I think it was better than my little D5300. Right? It's working, right? Apologies for anything that you might notice that may push the quality of the video down, but I really wanted to make this video before I actually use what I bought. So before we jump into that, for those of you who are new here, first of all, welcome. I'm Maverick. Uh, my channel's name is Life After 85. And I speak about photography, I do a bit of BTS when I go on shoots and product reviews like this one and also just the whole thought process when it comes to doing photography. So if you want to hear more about that, make sure to stick around and hit the subscribe button below and you'll be notified whenever I put out a new video. So without further ado, this arrived yesterday and it is something that I've been meaning to get myself for a very long time now. I'm not gonna keep you guessing, it's a tripod. So this is not the first time I'm buying a tripod. I did buy one very early on when I bought my camera. In fact, I bought a tripod, but it was one of those plasticky 250 Rand, which is around $15 uh, camera tripod. So I don't trust my DSLR on that. As you may know, I just recently bought the D750. So I really wanted to get a tripod that is a bit more sturdier than that. And I saw this one on special. So let's open it up. So this is what I bought. It's the Manfrotto Element tripod. It's a mini tripod. Let me just take this off here. It is one of the inexpensive tripods, but Still very reputable, still very sturdy, as I've read in reviews, so. So this is nice. This is like a padded bag to store the tripod in. So the fact that they include this is very nice. These are some Allen keys and I think these pointy parts, this right here, you screw into the feet. Let me just show you. I've seen this in a video, you screw this into the feet at the bottom. So, just for that extra grip, depending on the terrain that you use the tripod on. This, obviously, the main part. As you can see, very small, very compact when it's folded up. I love this. And I also love that they didn't tighten this when they stored it. Uh, it's a little trick that I learned by packing up my drums and traveling with it a lot, is to not always tighten all the parts because it moves around and if you don't tighten it all the way, then it's less friction and it's less likely to wear out. So this tripod, comes in an aluminum bulb. As you can see the name there, Manfrotto Element. And this is very nice for the price that I got it for. It's very sturdy and it even includes a bore head at no extra cost. Usually from what I've seen is if you do buy a Manfrotto tripod, you have to buy the bore head separately in some cases. Not in this one though. The bore head comes with it, which is kind of a bonus because it is very versatile in angling the camera. As you can see, you can loosen this part here and it gives you like a panning motion and it's quite smooth. There's a little bit of resistance, not as much as a video bullet would have, but there's a bit of resistance enough for you to pan smoothly. So that's cool. And then also you can obviously adjust this part where your camera will mount onto. And as you can see, as you can see, there's a level on the camera mount. So that's cool for making sure that your camera is, well, level. The part that we spoke about earlier is right here at the bottom and you can replace this rubber part 
with the sharp part that I showed you earlier as you can see so right now I'm on the Manfrotto site and here's some specs about this particular tripod first of all it comes in at a weight of 1.2 kilograms um, to be precise that's 1150 grams so it's actually 1.15 it has a safety payload of 4 kilograms, which is plenty for my D750 with a lens or even with a lens and a video mic or whatever you want to mount on it. It has a minimum height of 36 centimeters, so you can get really low and a maximum height of 1.4 meters. It also has a quick release plate for easy mounting and dismounting of your camera. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the b-roll I snuck in there with the tripod but yeah I really wanted us to have a first look together before I use this baby I'll try it out today um, with the shoot that I have and yeah maybe I'll revert back with some information as to how it works I must say I didn't expect it to be as small and as compact as it is but that's always a plus especially when you have to do run and gun shoots like the one I'm about to do today so that's all from you guys I hope you enjoyed this one I know it was really short, but I had to put it out there. Thank you for tuning in. See you guys in the next one.